Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see how to add the loading spinner in the project. We will try to see here. Why? Because in the previous video, we have did the error error message. So, what are the error message coming from the backend server? So, how to replicate that error message? We have seen right now. If we try to see here, test at the test dot com one two three four five six. If I write my username and password, if I try to click on the sign up. I am not able to know whether the user has been uh, whether the request has been sent to the server or not. It is better if we show you the loading spinner when the request is sent and hide the loading spinner when the request has been completed. So if we if we hide that loader, it will be better for us. It will be better in the user perspective uh, in the user interface perspective. So let's try to add the loading spinner so that the same loading spinner we will try to add it in the, in the whole project. It will be useful in the whole project. So one time we will write and we can use that loading spinner. Hole in the project. Okay, well, let's try to see that one. Now, in order to add this one, so what I will be doing is I will be using pure CSS loader. Okay, pure CSS loader. So this one is uh, uh, if you go here loading.io. So this one is completely on the, C, uh, on the CSS thing. Okay, so I am trying to add this source code. So if I click here, you will be able to get this source code. Now what I will try to do here, let's go into the project. And in the components, I will create a new loader component. So the loader. I am using the loader dot PUE. Now we want to use so here I can write template. Template. You will be having the script here. And here you will be having the style. Style scope. So the, the styles will be applicable to only to this component only. Now let's go to the project. Here I can copy the sorry. Yeah, here I can copy this all the CSS and I can paste it here. And here what I can do? I can take this one all HTML <coughs> and I can go top and in this template I can add this one, one div, and inside this div I can add this one. Okay. So we have added successfully this the project, and here I can write export default. So we do as we don't have any data so just this is the component now where we can use this component so we need to load it the project everywhere so that when we use this one one variable show loading true means it says the loader has to show if you keep show loading false means the loader has to stop so where we can keep that one the better place is the app dot view here i can go and here i can write import the loader okay from slash components the loader okay i can add the loader dot view and what i need to do i need to add this the loader in the components here now here I, at the top i can use this the loader one i can use okay so whatever the name you want you can give the hyphen loader <coughs> this one so let's try to check the output here if i try to check the output here so we are not able to see the loader component if i go to the view if I try to see okay, here the loader component is there but I am not able to see why because the default the loader is in the white color so what I will try to do here I will try to change it to black color now if I try to see yeah I am able to see the loader now let's design somewhat so what I will do is here I can add a class loading box so take this loading box and here loading box Whatever the name, loading hyphen box or anything, loading hyphen box or loading box, whatever the name you want, you can give. And what I will try to do is here in this loading box, <coughs> I will write so class is equal to box. Yeah, here let's go okay, loading hyphen box here position position. I can give fixed. Okay, so top come um, 40 percent okay so width should be of 20 percent or 25 percent okay top of 40 percent we have kept and here margin of auto okay so and here i can give background background of hash ff and box shadow box shadow i can give zero pixel zero pixel or minus two pixel. i don't know so let's check the output how it will come so box shadow I have applied. <clears throat> so let's give the Z index of triple nine. I will give 
So let's check the output how it will be. So check here, if you're able to see. And uh, if, uh, let's try to apply it. So what is happening? This is the loading box we have applied, right? So this is the position we are not getting here. You apply another one, one pixel. Uh, so add or yeah, we are able to see right nine pixel. I have added. So let's try to add nine pixel. Here I need to add nine pixel again. Now here, if I try to see the output, now uh, it's not getting center. Why it's not getting center? Now here I need to add left zero pixel right zero pixel now we got it center okay so now i can add here left zero pixel right zero pixel okay so we have added to the center of the screen if i try to check here yeah fine so somewhat it is fine okay if you want to add the background uh, layer you uh, you can also add so what i can do here i can add due class is equal to backdrop okay so this is out of the concept so just we have added this one if you want you can keep okay <clears throat> so we have added this one so the content we will keep it as a center so what i can do is text align center okay and we just take the one prop here props okay we will take the text so here required will be false and the type will be string Okay, type will be string and default we will keep it as loading so if anybody sends some custom message they can send here in the due i can write here in the due okay here in the bottom okay here in the due like this it is there right here in the due i can write due text okay so now let's try to see so loading symbol yeah so now what i can do if you want you can give some padding of 10 pixel or 20 pixel anything whatever you want okay so just do the basic loading symbol now here i will person has become okay so nice fine so this is the loading component so we will use the entire project this loading component here what i need to do i have imported here so for the time being what it will be there so uh, <coughs> will be something like so what i need to do here so the loading symbol we have added so now the variable what we need to so the variable we need to get it from the store so what i can do if you want you can create a module or otherwise you can directly so it is it is universal right so you here in the create store you can use state and the return so i can create one variable show loading of false so default it will be a false okay so this is the state and this state what i will try to do i will try to take it in here the app so here i can grab that state using computed and here i can use map state okay so map state will be like this and here i can have a map i can have the key and it will be of state state dot so sorry so loading okay so i am taking the state from the store and here what i can do so i will add this store here show loading and i need to know when that store variable becomes true only i need to show this one now fine now if i try to see there is no loading button if i if i try to ah uh, sorry if i try if i try to make it true now you will be able to see i think now if i try to see so refresh now you are able to see the loading so that means when i be, when i make this store value as true then it will become then it will be visible now what i will try to do i will try to create another store constant mutation so here i can write something like export constant loading pinner so whatever the thing you want you can create mutation so i am creating like this so here i can write mutations so loading pinner so this is the mutation i am creating and here what i will what i will do is here i can go to the store and here i will write mutations so here i can write clear brackets like this so extract this mutation and you will be having the state and the payload okay so now here i can write state dot show loading is equal to 
payload. So if we call this mut mutation, so automatically true and false, we can send it to the payload. Now where we will be using this mutation thing? Here if you go to the sign up, sign up dot view. Okay, this is the sign up project. Okay, so in the two places we can use in the two in the two where in the two places we can use. Either we can use directly here in the component. So that means directly here before calling the sign up. So load the spinner, show the spinner. Sorry, show the or otherwise make the make make spinner true. And after completing or any error, so make spinner false. We can write it down. Make spinner false. So here we can do or otherwise so we can directly go to the actions okay we can directly go to the actions and here also here here also we can do so here we can call this one and on the catch or down we can show the spinner false so first we'll try to do it here so if i try to try to do it here what i can do context dot commit loading spinner show mutation so first time i need to show it true and when i need to show it false here in the catch when the, when there is a catch error i need to make it false okay when this one is false or otherwise when it is successfully true or otherwise down i can write it directly like this false now if i try to go here and if i try to check the output here if i try to check the inspect element console so now we don't have any error right now we don't have any error here fine i can go to the sign up okay fine so i will write test at the rate test.com sorry test.com and one two three four five six i can write here if i click on sign up i am i am getting an error that unknown local mutation type yeah we understood so what is that what is the error we are getting is this loading spinner mutation is not present in the actions.js this actions.js belongs to the auth module actually actually if you see here this belongs to the auth module so that means it will this actions belongs to the only the to the auth module so that means it can change only this state and also the mutations what are present in this state or in this auth module only it will try to change but here the mutation we are what we are trying to call is in the root root store that means in the store.js so this is one of the modules so from this module we are trying to change the state of the root mode root state so what we need to do here so what we can do is one one change what we can do is go to the actions.js if you want here you can say you can you need to write here root true so it present in the root please check it in the root or otherwise if you have in the another module means you need to write something uh, module slash you need to keep here module slash like this you need to keep now here i have written the root true right so here are the this is the same thing i need to use it here also and also i need to use it here also so this is the this is how we can use and if i try to refresh this one uh, not a problem and uh, here i can write test at the rate test dot com and one two three four five six if i click on sign up see now you are able to see this one now i am not able to close this uh, thing why 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 we need to check here so in the console if you go so what is the oh what is there already saying oh still it is saying unknown so we have missed somewhere i think uh what we what i can say refresh problem let it refresh it again okay fine now i can write test at the red test dot com one two three four five six I click on sign up yeah see now without any problem the loading has symbol has been gone see so this is the way one way how we can write in the actions.js so i don't want in the, to write in the actions.js i want to use directly in the component base means you can remove this one so i will keep it as a comment here okay the code will be available in the github if you want so i can comment out it like this and if you want to use it in the sign up means what we need to do is so here what i can do here I, I need to call the mutations okay map mutations of so i can write show loading so this one belongs to loading spinner show mutation okay so we can call this one directly so now how can i call here make spinner true right this dot show loading of true i will pass it as true and what i need to do this dot show loading of false here i will make it as false and here also i need to make it as false okay so these are the three scenarios so now if i try to check the output here okay in the actions.js we need to remove these unused things now if i try to check the output yeah now if here if i try to write so inspect element check the inspect element 
test at the rate test dot com one two three four five six i have added this one go to the console and i click on sign up see we are not able to, we are not getting this uh, loading symbol why because here what it is happening is in the sign up it is directly so this is dot show loading it is directly executing and immediately without waiting so this has called this one and immediately the false has been also executed that means here what we need to do is here the execution when the sign up is happening so we need to wait until this sign up has been completed when this sign up uh, when this sign up will be completed this sign up it will do what it will do is it will call the ajax call to the server and it will uh, get the response and it will do all the necessary things until and unless the server response and all those things completed it has to hold the execution here and after that only it need to execute the show loading but here what it is happening is it is calling show loading of true it is calling this sign up and immediately it is calling show show loading why because this this one is a asynchronous call so that is the reason so what we need to do is we need to keep await here if you are keeping await here means for this one we need to use async so now if you use async await now see what will happen if i refresh this code test at the rate test dot com and here one two three four five six and here if i click on sign up see now you are able to see so this is how we will be able to add the loading spinner in the in the project okay so the the loading the, this, this the the loading component we will be using for a, in the entire project here like this so just we will be making this true and false on the store variable so that everywhere we can use it directly okay i hope you understood how we can add this one using store how we can add the loading component i hope you understood this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you